Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. Welcome to the Exos Workout of the Day. If you're joining us for the first time, my name's Ryan. Um, we'll lead you through a quick warm-up, and then we'll kind of get into the workout a little bit today. So first thing we're going to do is get a good square stance, toes slightly pointed out, and we're going to do some squats, reaching back with those hips and standing up tall. Let's get six to eight repetitions in here, getting a little bit lower each time, get those hips loosened up, getting those kinks out from the long weekend. So we'll spend a little bit longer time today warming up. I know everyone's probably maybe a little sluggish from the holiday weekend. Nice and easy, getting a little lower each time. Finish up those repetitions, stand up tall, some big arm circles going forward. Loosen up those shoulders and going backwards. Let's go across the body, going over and under. Good swimmer stretch. And then we're going to finish up with these torso rotations, have those eyes follow those hands. We're going to to your right and to your left. Whew, each one get a little more kinks. And relax. Find yourself a little bit of room. We're going to take some uh, lunges. Big step forward and stand on. I'll get about three each leg, taking that big step. So you have a good angle to drive through that front foot. So you take a small step, you're gonna feel that pressure in your knee and in your toes. And we don't want it there. We want the big part of your heel. One more each way. Standing up tall, we're going to a leg cradle here. Gonna grab that knee with the one leg, grab the shin with the other leg, pull it to your chest, alternating sides. Getting in about three to four each way. And last one we do before we kind of get moving a little bit quicker, we're gonna take a seat on the ground. And take a nap because it's Monday. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do some reverse scorpions. So I'm going to kick those arms out. Bring that right foot up and over. Keep that shoulder on the ground. And then go the other way. Bring that left foot up and over. Bring that shoulder to the ground. Getting the kinks out of that little back. Get about three to four each way. Focusing on your breath. Relieve, relieve that tension in your back. One last one. We'll pop up. And when you're ready, let's come up to our feet. Yeah, do that one real quick. Get our backs in good alignment. Before we start rolling here, let's get our heart rates up. Let's hit some seal jacks here. All we're going to do is kicking those feet out, kicking those arms out. Working here. If you don't want to jump, you can always go side to side with it. And then right after that, we're going to do some small pogo hops just for a quick 20 seconds. So seal jacks here. Ready and go. Just getting that movement going. If you want to go side to side, that's fine too. We're gonna roll the pogo hops in two while we're going on those toes. Pretend you're jumping rope or you're a kangaroo. Two, one, relax. Shake out those feet. We're warming up a little bit, loosened up for today's Exos workout of the day. The first portion of it, we're gonna focus on our strength exercises. Second portion of it, we're gonna focus on our cardio exercises. The first strength portion, we're going to have an upper body phase and a lower body phase that we're going to roll through twice, and then we'll get into our cardio and see where we go from there. So we're in the first kind of sets we're going to do, or a little, uh, little super sets we're going to do is an all upper body. We're going to do 25 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That's just going to be a quick transition. You have dumbbells nearby you or a backpack or, or whatever weights you're using at home. 
have it available to you. And I'll get rolling on. The first exercise we're gonna do is a floor press. So I have these two dumbbells here. You only have one dumbbell, you can always just hold that one dumbbell. If you have a backpack, hold the top and the bottom of it and hold it on your back. So floor press. Right here, we're gonna press up to the ceiling, coming back down, my elbows are gonna touch the ground, my hands are gonna stay upright, so don't let them tilt forward or back. Keeping them up, driving the ceiling, elbows go down. I'm working there, and I'll be working there for the entire 25 seconds. After that, we're gonna put those weights aside. We're gonna go into a push-up position. We're gonna do lateral fast hands. So my left hand's gonna go off one way, and back and forth, working real quick. Get really good on those shoulders, going fast with that, or as quick as you can there. After that, we're gonna pop on up. We're gonna do bent over holds. So it's kind of a bent over row, big chest, I'm bowing over, I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna hold. But 25 seconds, pretty easy there. What I'm gonna focus on here is my elbow is pulling to the ceiling. My elbow is doing the pulling, I'm feeling those muscles tense in that little in my back. I'm getting some good work here, even though I'm not moving. Good, good uh, static shoulder health. And then after that, we're gonna finish up with some upright rows. My dumbbells are gonna be right here. I'm gonna pull them to my chin, my elbows are high, and then I'm going down. Pull my chin, elbows high, going down. Again, if you only have one, if you only have one dumbbell, you can always pull from there. If you have a backpack, you just hold on to those straps. Same thing with the bent over rows. We'll go through that once. We'll take a little breather, and then we'll go through them again really quick. So we're just gonna go boom, boom, and then we're gonna go into our lower body. So let's find a spot on the ground. With these floor presses, I'm get my timers up and running. All right, 25 seconds on the clock. Let's get those weights up. We're gonna hit it here in three, two, one, we're rolling. Floor presses. Elbows touch the ground, drive to the ceiling. You only have one dumbbell, you're pushing hard up. You only have the backpacks, using that too. As you get used to it, go a little quicker with it. Get a lot of repetitions in here during this time today. Two, one, relax, put the dumbbells to your side. Get in that push-up position. And you go side to side, fast hands. Here we go. Two, one, we're rolling. Side to side, fast hands. Pretend there's an imaginary line and cross over it with those hands. Pick them up, put them down. Nice job, go, go, go. The shoulders will be burning here, getting them warm. Two, one, relax, grab those weights. Bent over holds. Big chest, bow on over, pull those lower ribs. Two, one, we're going. 25 seconds here. Actively pull those elbows, squeezing those shoulders. Keep that chest big. Don't look down, look up, or at least in front of you. Two, one, relax. Gonna go into some upright rows next here. Keep those same weights. You need to go lighter, go for it. Pull those elbows high, pull those weights to your chin. Here we go. Two, one, we're pulling. 25 seconds. Elbows high, knuckles down. The weight is just going to your chin. Two, one, relax, shake out those arms. Take a little bit of breather, grab some walking needle, and we're not gonna stay here too long though. Grab that set. Let's grab those weights. Find that spot on the ground for the floor presses. 
One more time through here. Get our bodies. Do some good quality work. All right, we're going to get going here in three, two, one, and we're rolling. Round two. A little quicker this time. Same duration. Pick up that pace. Feeling that heart rate pick up. Even if your arms are getting tired, keep punching the ceiling. Two, one, put them on down. Get in that push up position, side to side, fast hands. Here we go. Two, one, we're rolling side to side. 25 seconds here, going as quick as you can. Move it a little faster than the last time we went through this. Two, one, relax. Pop on up, bend over, hold. You're able to just increase, increase the weight here in this one. These can do a little better. Big chest, bow and over. Here we go, two, one, working. Pull and squeeze, pull and hold, elbows high. Elbows are pulling vertically to the ceiling. Dumbbells are getting close to those ribs. Keep that chest big. Nice job here. Short time. Two, one, relax. Ooh, last upper body here. Last upper body. Then we'll go to the lower body. Bring that focus in a different direction. Upright rows. Here we go. Two, one. We're hitting it. Last one, elbows high, knuckles down. There we go, we're rolling through these strength rounds real quick today. Then we get a lot of cardio in at the end. But some good solid movements at the beginning or right after that long weekend. Two, one, relax, put them down. Put them down, walk around, shake all those arms. Big arm swings. Loosen on up. Sure your shoulders are feeling a little bit there at the end. Grab that sit. We're going to move on to our lower body next. Doing four exercises there, same thing as before. 25 seconds on. A quick transition to the next exercise after that. The first exercise we're going to do, ooh, lovely, pulse squats. So stance, square toes slightly pointed out. And I mean slightly pointed out. If you're looking at my toes, they're literally, that's it. They, they moved one inch out. That was it. So that's what I'm doing. Square stance, toes slightly go out. We're going to pulse squat there for 25 seconds, getting low, pulsing down there. After that, you're going to need your weights again. We're going to do an RDL. I'm going to have a big chest, same thing as those big rows. I'm going to bow over. I'm going to push my hips back. When I'm down in this position, my dumbbells are close to me, and my chest is big, I keep my back flat in a good position. From here, stand up tall, hips come through. Big chest, hips go back, pushing it to the wall behind me. Staying up tall, hips come through. Feeling that stretch. That tension right in the hamstrings, right in the back. After that, you can keep the weights, you can remove the weights. I'm probably gonna just keep one weight to start with, and I'm gonna hold it up in a goblet position. If you wanna hold two weights, you can at your side. What we're gonna do are split squats. So let's say I start with my left foot forward, right leg back. I'm gonna big split. My back knees gonna go straight to the ground, and I'm gonna drive up. Go straight down. And drive up. Don't shift forward. See how the angle just changed on my knee to my foot and how I'm leaning really far forward on my toe. I want to go straight down, straight up. So think of it if I had a sheet of paper 
right below me, and that was my target, I'm gonna hit that sheet of paper every single time. And then we'll switch the other like the other time. So we have pulse squats, we have RDLs, we have split squats with the one leg and then split squats with the other leg. 25 on the head off, roll through this, and then we're gonna get those, get really good sweating here. Take the thing, take care of things you need to take care of first. Let's start with those pulse squats. Good stance, toes slightly pointed out. Let's hit it here in three, two, one, we're rolling. Get low, big chest, eyes up. Make sure your eyes are, you can read a sign on your wall or looking up towards the ceiling. Five more seconds. Two, one, relax. Grab those weights. On your heels. Big chest, hips go back. Here we go. Two, one, or roll. And hips go back. Hips come through. My chest stays big. I stand tall at the end. I feel a stretch on my hamstrings. And I bring those hips through. Work in here. Come on, come on. Nice job. Feel that tension. Two, one, relax. I'm going to keep one weight in my hand. I'm going to hold up my gavel position. If you don't want any weights, don't use them here. Split squat, big split. Straight down, straight up. Here we go. Three. Two, one, we're rolling. Straight down, straight up. Driving through that front foot. Driving up with a purpose on the way up. On the way up should be faster than on the way down. Two, one, relax. Switch it on up. Big split again. Here we go. Two, one, we're rolling. Straight down, straight up. 25 seconds, and then one more time through. Make sure you're going straight down like you're hitting the target right below you. Short time here. Two. One, relax, weights down. Stand up, walk around, grab a seat. We're not taking too long to rest, so stay close. Do a great job. Finishing the second strength out here. We're gonna roll the car down a little bit. Shake those legs. Woo! Absolutely. Back to chicken legs or turkey legs. <laughs> Let's grab those, uh, actually we won't need weights, pulse squats. Let's come back to center. Let's find that stance. Let's point it out. Big chest. Let's hit it in three, two, one, we're rolling. Stay low, eyes up. Feel that burn, push those hips back. Nice job working here. Last time we're seeing these ones. Just grind here, be solid. Two, one, relax. Let's grab those weights, RDLs. Here we go. Three, two, one, we're rolling. Hips go back, hips come through, standing up tall. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. Keep those weights close to your body. You don't want the dumbbells to, you know, the backpack should slide down your thighs or your shins. Two, one, relax. Remove the weights if you need to. Put one leg out, split squats. 
Here we go. Two, one. We're working straight down, straight up. Driving through that front heel. Nice job. Keep that chest big. Don't be rocking forward. Straight down, straight up. Focus. Two, one. Relax. Switch it on up. Other leg in front. Here we go. Two, one. We're hitting it last time here. Keeping that chest big. Driving through that front foot. Careful on that back knee. Don't be banging it on the ground. Short time in here. Two, one, relax. Ah, shake it out. Woo. Nice job. Strength round done. Weight out of here. Now all we gotta do is just push that pace to these cardio exercises. All right. So, how much time we have? Plenty of time. With these cardio exercises, we're going to do 15 seconds on, five seconds off. We got two rounds we're first sure we're going to get through. Maybe a third round at the end if we got enough time. The first round is going to have four exercises. The second round is going to have three exercises. And maybe that fourth round, too. So, the first round, first exercise mountain climbers. In that push up position, Grab my knees to my chest, going quick. If you just need one at a time, one and then the other, that's fine too. Again, right at the end here, we're doing this cardio exercises. Find a good pace that you can stick at the entire time and just keep trying to work hard at your pace. Don't be trying to, <laughs> I know it's really tough and sometimes you gotta slow it down a little bit, which you can, but just find a good pace and just keep on working. You guys got it today. After that, we're gonna do flutter kicks. So I'm just gonna roll over my back. Arms are going to be out, and I'm just keep my feet straight. Floater in here. My low back's going to be pushed in the ground. I'm going to engage my core, get a little core work in action here. Or just like I'm swimming in the pool, fluttering those feet. After that, I'm going to pop up. I'm going to do some jump squats. So same stance, to the point out. Core squat down, jumping up. I'm going quick here. You don't want to jump in. You don't want to leave the ground. Just squat. Just like we did in the warm-ups, same stance, reach back, drive up, reach back, drive up, as quick as you can. And then the last one, we're gonna do skaters. My knees are gonna be bent, I'm gonna stay low. My one foot's gonna come across, I'm gonna go down. Other foot's gonna go across, go down. I'm just gonna kind of find a little rhythm and alternate sides. We're only doing 15 seconds of each one, and then we're gonna proceed on. So, amount of time to start with, we got 10 minutes. See what we can get done. Woo. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're hitting mountain climbers. Knees to chest. If you need to go one at a time, go for it. Remember, we're in a quick transitions in between. So go from one to the next. You can roll your back next to the flutter kicks in two, one. Roll on your back, flutter kicks here. Two. One, we're hitting it. Nice job, keeping those feet straight. Two, one, let's pop on up to jump squats or regular squats. Here we go, two, one, we're working. Just need a normal squat here, that's fine too. Make sure your eyes are up. Good stance. Two, one, relax, skaters. Bend those knees. Two, one, we're going. Have a little rhythm, have a little pace. Woo, don't hit the tree. A little less room today. Two, one, relax, shake it out. Grab a sip of water. That's the four exercises. 
We're going to roll a three next. I'll explain to you as you're relaxing. The first one we have is cross mountain climbers. Push up position, right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. I'm going quick there, working. After that, we're going to do some plank rockers. I'm going to go down my elbows, off my knees. I'm rocking back and forth, squeezing my core the entire time. After that, we're going to pop on up. We're going to do pillar skips. So, march in place, and then add that hop. Big arms, big knees. If you don't want to do pillar skips, just march in place. Drive your arms, then get a big knee drive. All right, you guys have had plenty of rest. I have not. But we're not worried about me. Let's get it done. Cross mountain climbers. 15 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're rolling. Alternating. I mean, right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. Only three exercises here. Two, one. Go down your elbows, off your knees. Plank rockers. Two, one. We're rolling back and forth. Squeeze that core, body in a good alignment. Two, one. Let's pop up. Pillar skips or marching. Big knee drive, big arm drive. Two, one. We're hitting it. Get up. Last one here. Two, one, relax. Woo. All righty. Grab that soup again. We have the final two round. Only 30 seconds, so let's be quick. The first exercise we have, what do we have? Woo! High knees. So again, a little quicker to pillar skip. It's like you're running in place, driving those knees up. If you don't feel like you're doing high knees today, march in place, big knee drive, big arm drive. The goal is to keep moving the entire time, keep giving your best effort. So if you need to go to a pillar, to a march, that's fine. The last one we're gonna do is a burpee. So the burpees, don't be intimidated by this. The one way you can do it, hands go down, feet kick out, feet kick in, you're popping up. That's too much jumping. Let's do this. Hands go down, step out, step in, pop up. In that 15 seconds, you may only get two or three of them in. That's okay. That's your best pace, and that's what we're sticking with today. So, high knees or that march, pull those burpees, or you're stepping out burpees. It's only 30 seconds. All righty. Let's hit it here. High knees. Three, two, one. We're rolling. Get them up. Big knees. Drive, drive, drive. If you just need to march, that's fine. But get them up. Big knees, big arms. Two, one. Relax. Burpees. Choose your options. Here we go. Two, one. We're working. Keep grinding. Keep moving. Two, one. Relax. Grab a sip. Last one here. Last one here. What we're gonna do? Just burpees. Fifteen seconds. Last one of the day. Single one. We're gonna go in here in ten seconds. Get two or three or more in. Two or three or more. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're hitting it. Go quick. It's only fifteen seconds.
Ten more seconds. Go, go, go. Three, two, one. Relax. Spin walk. Stay on the move. Nice job. Get that air relax in the water. Don't sit down. Stand up. Stand tall. Get that quick quality air. So try to breathe in through your mouth or out through your nose or in through your nose and out through your mouth. Whatever works best for you, but focus on controlling that breath, bringing that heart rate down. We're done for the day. Gonna do a little stretching. Let's take a seat. Can't see me well. Let's kick that right foot in, left foot out. Let's have both hands reach. Might not get very far, it's okay. Just get that stretch in that hamstring. A little tension behind the knee. Still continuing to keep your heart rate down. Focus on your breath. Really nice job today. Giving your best, finding your tempo and sticking with it. Sitting up tall, keep that leg out, and then reach again a little farther. A little farther. Not gonna hang here too long. I'm switching up. All right, leg out. Switch for that foot. Ooh. And one side tighter than the other. Stand up tall. Reach a little bit farther. Sit up tall, bring both feet in. Bring those toes, dropping down those knees, get a little groin stretch, keep that chest big. Keep those legs out. Let your head fall forward. Fall back. Go to your left. And your right. Back and forth, left and right. And push that head back again. When you're done, relax. Thank you guys for joining the Exos workout of the day. Uh, tune back in, uh, express abs here in the next few minutes. And then the next class will be tomorrow morning, 8.30 with metabolic conditioning. Fantastic job to you, to those of you that are doing the 2021 countdown, collecting those points, executing your programs, meeting with us each week. Um, if you are missing out on it and you want to jump in, we still have plenty of time till the end of the year. Let's get your program on track. Thank you, guys, and we'll catch you later.